Imagine you're in an enchanted forest, a place of myth and mystery. You wander through a maze of mossy rocks, following in the footsteps of Jedi Knights, Merlin the Sorcerer, and a certain Time Lord. But this isn't a dream or a fairy tale. This is a real place you can visit. Welcome to the magical world of Puzzle Wood. everyone and welcome to this episode of the seven wonders of the forest of dean today we're at puzzlewood now unlike the rest of the forest puzzlewood is privately owned so i'll put a link in the description please check out the website for details of opening times and ticket prices once you've passed through reception there's a cafe a picnic area a play area and then beyond that there's this small farm park so take a look at the animals but really, this is all about the wood, so we'll follow the signs and head on towards Puzzle Wood. So let's take a quick look at where we are on the map. The Forest of Dean lies between the rivers Seven and Wye, just west of Gloucester, about an hour and a half's drive from Birmingham. Puzzle Wood is on the western side of the forest, just south of the town of Colford, on the B4228. So, we're just entering the woods now. Wow. Ooh, which way? Uh, let's head left. Climbing up a little bit here. Ooh, it's quite a drop actually. So there's a kind of ravine down there. I assume that'll be our route back out. So you see the path's quite clearly marked, but it, it's a bit of a maze. There's a few junctions now and again, so we haven't seen any signs yet. Oh, that is a dead end. It's just a very long dead end. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Mossy rocks are quite something. Really quite spooky. A whole maze of little passages hidden down there. It does feel like it's out of a movie. Keep going round. So looking at this, it's it's hard not to wonder whether this has been deliberately made or, or it's natural so according to the sign at the entrance uh, there used to be a series of natural underground caves here in the limestone rock uh, but that was thousands of years ago and over time uh, the rock lifted up and also the water eroded the top of the rock and effectively the caves have collapsed and what we're now seeing is the kind of exposed remnants of that cave system. Then in the Iron Age and through Roman times, there was mining happening for iron ore. So what we're seeing is a combination of 
nature and man, and then for the last one, two thousand years, the area has been sort of left to go uh, to go back to nature. Um, so we've got ancient trees and, and all of the moss that's developed on the rocks. And it, it really is quite unlike anywhere else I've been. rustic fences. <laughs> it's like being in the Ewok village. We've come in October and beautiful with the leaves falling and the, the sun just coming through. More rocks down there. Almost look like standing stones. And it's great how the trees are just growing out of the rocks as well. Really adds to the sort of eerie sensation. Now it looks like we've got to head down, get a, a little bit of a view of what it looks like down below. The paths here are quite narrow, there's quite a lot of steps, so uh, you need to be fairly fit to come round. trees seem really high above me. This is really cool. We've got a bridge now to take us across this gully. The ferns are incredible. It's really lush down here. So we'll keep on. It looks like we've got another junction coming up. So our strategy so far has just kind of been to keep to the left, make sure we don't miss anything on this side of the woods, and hope that it will bring us round and we'll, we'll see the rest of it on the way back. But uh, it looks like we've got quite a few choices coming up, so let me just check. Those rocks are absolutely covered in moss. Oh, is that another bridge up there? Let's have a look. All right, we've got three or four directions to choose from. Uh, I guess we should head that way, but I just want to go and have a look at this bridge. Quite a cool steep set of stone stairs up here. This one. Oh wow, look at this. down there. It kind of expects some sort of Jim Henson puppets to suddenly appear. Let's just have a quick look down here, see if we missed anything. Yes, I think this is the 
this is coming up from a junction we saw earlier. So we won't go back that way, but just have a look what's over here. I think this is the ravine that's the way back. But oh wow, look at that view. Just seems to go on forever. All these lumps and bumps. Yes, we've been here, haven't we? I'm sure we've been up there. Which is you the other side of it. Oh. Go back across the bridge and continue to follow the left-hand side. This bridge is awesome. Right, so we're now continuing along the left-hand edge of the wood. More deep hollows. Again, could be mines, could be caves. Some more trees just going straight out the side of the rock. Quite tall. This looks quite intriguing. As well as all the ferns, there's some fantastic fungi here today. Secret passage, some more steps. Definitely heading uphill, so I'm hoping the way back should be down. Wow, look how mossy those branches are. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's like a tree's fallen down and they've turned it into a kind of walkway. fungi. A little bit slippy, just be careful. <laughs> oh, stepping stones. Not sure we really need them, but we'll give them a try. Oh, going down again. into one of these passageways. Uh, I'll have a look to the right first. Just love all these secret little rock rooms. Apparently someone did find a cache of 3,000 Roman coins down here, so you never know, there might be hidden treasure. Oh, that bench is really cool. back. I do love these moss covered trees. Want another little seat? It's more like a hammock.
feel like I can't be far enough from the top of the wood. Some great tree roots over this bit. Starting to see light now. I think that must be the ends of the wood. So finally, I think we've reached the top of the wood, and there we go. There's the uh, fields. Right, so let's head back and hopefully down. God, I saw a face in the rock. Can you see that? That's a bit spooky. Is that bench down there. So we are now heading back down the other side of the valley. Oh, the tree looks like it's got a face. More ravines. And now we're going down into one. Oh wow, this looks fantastic. Amazing toadstools. Look at loads of different types here. All different colours and shapes and sizes. on the gully. <laughs> you just don't know what's going to be around the next corner. Oh, it's getting even deeper. Great place for hide and seek. Oh, I've seen another face. <laughs> First, is that the gully that we're meant to be following back? Oh, this is really cool, enjoying this bit. Wait a minute though. No, is this going back where we've been or is this somewhere new? Oh, it's looking familiar. Ah, wait a minute. This is where we came when we went over the high bridge. Oh, but look, there's some sort of hut through there. So, yep, let's head back, and if we take the other path, we should be able to go and explore where that shack is. So that's the way we came. Oh, looks amazing, even when you've already been that way. around this corner. <laughs> oh wow. It just keeps going. Oh, 
If we come down into this big kind of ravine, and here's the building we could see. It's actually Morgana's hut put in for the TV show Merlin. going down into the valley. Oh, this is really beautiful. kind of lost for words. Every time you think this is going to run out, we just find another amazing view. And these rocks and gullies and crevices, they just seem to go on in all directions. Even now, and I think we must be near to the exit, it looks like we've got another ravine to enjoy. around this bend. <laughs> Can't be more, surely. Oh my gosh, this place is incredible. Another secret passage through mossy rocks. Where's this one going to take us? Oh, I think, I think we must finally be getting towards the exit. It's levelling out. And brightening up. And I can see an arch ahead. And there we go. Wow. That was utterly fantastic. I think I think it's, we've been in there a couple of hours. And I'm not even sure we went to every part. On your way out, don't miss the small museum in the barn. Which provides a lot more information about both the wood and the surrounding area. I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a fantastic time. Look out for my other videos in this series for more wonders of the Forest of Dean. Please subscribe and join me on the next adventure.